Hi, this is Patrick Everson for Covers.com, and I'm coming to you from the incredible sportsbook here at the Cosmopolitan on the Las Vegas Strip. Happy to be joined by Will Bernanke of CG Analytics. They supply the odds for this shop and many other great sportsbooks around Las Vegas. Will, let's talk a little week five college football. The week kicks off a little early with big games. You got Southern Cal traveling to Washington State for a late Friday night kickoff. What are you guys seeing on that game? Well, before I get into the line movie, interesting thing, look ahead line in this game, the game of the year, USC was minus 10. So this line's now minus three and a half, up from three. And this is due to USC's, I think a lot of it to do with USC's poor performances. West sure. Michigan, lousy first half against uh, Cal, and their, str and their struggle um, with Texas. against Texas. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, they should have lost that game. Sure. So right now we're seeing one-way action all on USC. It's a three, three and a half. This line probably should reach four. Friday night, California money coming into town. This could be one of our biggest decisions uh, of the week in college football. All right, very good. Public play on USC, I'm presuming. Yes. All right, very good. Moving along Saturday, one of the bigger games of Saturday. You got Clemson traveling to Virginia Tech, another battle of unbeatens in conference play in the ACC. What do you guys see in there? Clemson, Virginia Tech. This game is interesting. Virginia Tech, we're getting three times more money on account, so sharp money's on Virginia Tech. Right. But over the counter, we're seeing all public money on Clemson. This is this game's going to be a big test for Virginia Tech to see if they're uh, for real. And Clemson, they've become everybody's darlings uh, right. since winning national championship. They're you know one of our top five public teams now. All right, very good. What's the line looking like in that game? Seven and a half right now, and this line I, I anticipate it gets to eight. Get the day of game, we'll see an influx of public money on Clemson. I think it gets to eight, but right now seven and a half. The sharp money's holding it down. All right, very good. How about a couple of other games on the Saturday docket that are of interest to you guys at CG? This one, uh, Georgia Tennessee. Now Tennessee uh, last week looked terrible, almost lost to UMass. The look ahead line in this game. Uh, game of the year was Tennessee minus one, if you could believe it. Right, this was like months ago, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, you would think it would be a pick em game. Right. Now, right now, the line currently seven and a half Georgia, and we're getting all Georgia money across the board. Okay, right. so no, we can't get a Tennessee ticket right now. Now, this should or could change as the weekend gets closer. If the line creeps up, I anticipate right. it moving up a little bit. Um, but, you know, Georgia is dismantling a Mississippi State. Everyone noticed that, and it's certainly showing up at the betting windows. All right, very good. And then let's uh, let's throw one more out there for people to digest. Oh, this is a great game. Oklahoma State and Texas Tech. The highest total of the year uh, so far. I'm seeing an 84 out there. Who knows how high this can get. And as far as uh, the line, it's up to 10. Oak State's up to 10. Uh, we're seeing uh, all sharp money and public money, actually, on Oklahoma State. But since it's at 10, I expect some buyback uh, on a key number 10 from you know Texas Tech there. All right, very good. And uh, are people buying into that huge total? Are they going under or over? <laughs> right now, all I've seen is over money, but uh -huh. you would expect at some point a number gets high enough to, to certainly uh, you know hit that game under. All right, very good. And as you said, sharp and public on Oak State to bounce back from a really surprising loss to Texas Christian. Yes. All right, so there you have it. Thanks a lot to Will for his insights. We really appreciate it. FloorCovers.com with that week at look, uh, with that look, I should say, at week number five of the college football season. I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter at Covers.